Rahman Rahim. They see us and they say, oh, they're wearing a hijab. The only thing they know how to do is cover themselves and they isolate themselves like from the world. They think we can't run, we can't play basketball. I feel like no matter what we're wearing, we have the ability to play just as any other people. We might even play a little bit better. So my parents are originally from Somalia. I have never played sports, and then I came here 10th grade year. I walked into the gym and they had tryouts for basketball. I told my parents that I was like, come on, let's, let's not fall into like the culture stereotype. And um, like I was like, we're in America, it's a new place. Salem School is one of the largest Islamic schools in the nation. We are over 835 students. Those children in the school are American children. They come from different ethnic backgrounds, but that does not deny the fact that they are American. So they are part of the American culture. So their love for sports is pretty inherent. We started with just one boys eighth grade team way back in 2003. After we developed the boys high school team, several girls came up to me and said, you know, we really want to develop a girls team. I think it was hard to actually encourage many of the parents uh, initially to kind of accept some of this. Because of some cultural issues, uh, it was a bigger challenge to do this for our girls than it was for our boys. The parents do have a fear of like, not necessarily like something bad happening to us, but just like maybe the looks we may get or, you know, well, how we'll be spoken to or something like that. Part of their apprehension was preserving the identity of the girls as Muslims. And we were able to explain to them that this is all about preserving their identity and introducing their identity to others. It was starting learning how to dribble, learning how to pass, learning how to make a layup. And we didn't get there the first year. Uh, we didn't get any wins either. My plan was, let's get somebody in here that can get us more than one win a year. I was just a rental car agent. It was fun, I liked it, but wasn't like fulfilling. And then I think, what, three years ago now, my high school coach, he is good friends with the boys coach here, Coach Klopp. And he's like, you know, I heard about this coaching opportunity. It's super low commitment. I think immediately after the interview when I was like, what did I just get myself into? I don't think I knew one Muslim person. So I knew nothing about the culture. My first thought was show them you can play. So I think the first day I like pulled up and hit a three and they were like, oh my gosh, she can play. She knows what she's talking about. So I think I use like my playing skills as the first step. <laughs> Me personally, I didn't know any rules of basketball. I was like, okay, let's just shoot the ball. Some of us had problems with like, controlling the ball and passing it over each other's heads kind of thing. Yeah, it was uh, scary at first. <laughs> your knees should be bent, guys. You're not 80 years old. Shuffle your feet, shuffle your feet, shuffle your feet. She taught me the rules. She taught me how to play. She taught us how to communicate. She taught us dedication. For the first time, we had more than two wins. You could see the growth within the team. Stars on three. One, two, three, stars! We walk onto the court, and you can just tell right away that they're like, oh, you know, this is like easy, we're gonna win. Because they're not taking warm-ups at all seriously. They're all laughing, joking around. So I think for me, it's like, okay, let's show them that oh, we can do just as well as any other team. It was a snowball after they started winning, and people actually started asking the question, like, oh, you have a game? Like, who's it against? And, you know, they actually started caring. So the fact that people of their age were interested made them more confident in their ability as well. It's an opportunity for us to represent our religion and that wearing our clothes shouldn't hold us back. You're going to find people who's going to judge you for no matter what you are, whatever you wear, whatever you say, they're gonna see you as a different person no matter what. 
There's been a couple incidents. There was one parent that was just like, I was like, whoa, you're an adult, like, are you serious? You will hear negative things, see negative things, but this is life. Nothing is perfect. But as long as you believe, aim and go and work for your dream, you can do it. This is no different than any other game, right? Yep. What are things we can control? Boxing out, taking care of the basketball and attitude. Tonight is a special night because it is senior night. Stand like here, in a line, facing this way. This way. This is one of our happiest moments, okay? When you see the grandma and the mother, they are coming to support their girls as representative of the success that we're able to bring about. I can only imagine how awesome it feels for these girls. Oh, okay, look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! No one took them seriously. And now they're on that court and they're winning games and their parents are in the stands watching them be successful. It's gotta be like the best feeling in the world. I have younger siblings and every time I'm going to a game, they're like, let's go see her play. I wanna be like her. I feel a lot of pride in that, and I'll be like, you can do whatever you want. Don't let scarf or what people say hold you back. In our own special way, we're kind of like representing the greater Muslim community. Whatever sport it is that we can play, we're just like everybody else. She made me so proud. This is like an opportunity for her. I didn't have it, but when she did it and she's going for it, it's like me, like I'm going for it. I feel more of a stronger woman playing in my hijab, showing people and telling people that I am a Muslim girl, I can play basketball just as well as anybody else. And it shows you that whatever you want to do in this world, you can do it.